In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to re reset your Windows password on Windows 7 to Windows 10. So, I don't know for a fact that this works with version 1903. If it doesn't, please tell me in the comments below, and I will clarify that it does not work in 1903. But I'm going to be using Windows 7. By the way, I know it works in 1809. Those are the versions of Windows. So what you're going to need to do is, you can see on the screen, we do, we do not know the password. And you can, as you can see, the password hint is not very helpful. So what we're going to need to do is go onto our working machine and download a piece of software called Rescatux. Rescatux is a small Linux distribution that can do this all for us. It can be found at a, at a web link in the description below. I currently have the SourceForge page right here. I'm going to be downloading Rescatux 0.71 Beta 7. There are no, there does not seem to be any um, stable version, as far as I can tell. So, um, so I'm just going to be downloading the beta. I already have it downloaded, so I don't actually need to do this for the moment. Then what we're going to need to do is burn that to a DVD or or CD actually. It's small enough to fit on a CD by the way. Or write it to a USB drive. To write it to a USB drive, you can use the free program Etcher. Found at etcher.io. It's a very very nice program and I like doing it on a USB drive better just because um, it's a lot faster to boot from a USB. So then we're, what you're going to need to do is insert the CD or USB drive into your computer and restart it. So that can be done by restarting from the menu here. So go down to the lower right, the lower right hand corner menu and choose the restart button. Now in VMware in particular it's a pain to get to get to boot from another drive it usually takes me several restarts and several attempts to do so so I'm just gonna be going through a little bit of trial and error and once I actually be I'm once I'm actually able to do it I will show you so once you get to something like this you are going to need um, once you get to a bio setup which should show on the screen with most computers it's either the the delete key the F7 key, the F12 key, or some other key that would be displayed at boot. You're going to need to go to the boot category, which is usually there, usually over here. Or my, in my case, it's F2. In your case, it's probably going to be F2, or um, or there might be an enter setup option in your boot um, menu at some point. But you need to go ahead to boot and go ahead and choose CD-ROM drive and press plus 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 and make CD-ROM at the top or um, removable devices at the top depending or USB drive you should see the name of your flash drive if you are using that then it's usually F10 to save and exit and press enter and then it will reboot into a something like this then what you're going to need to do is either choose auto or what I usually do is just choose 686, which is the 32-bit version. This will work on all PCs, whether it be a 32-bit PC or a 64-bit PC. Now the system is almost finished booting. Ignore any pop-up buttons, and if you see something about monitor settings, just close that out. We don't need that. I don't need to change my language or my keyboard layout and no I'm not gonna keep my VNC server press ok to start rescap okay so you can see this we can now press start rescap and we can see a very easy to use rescap area so you can't really see this very well but I, I apologize what you're gonna need to do is try to find Windows and blank Windows password. This is really, really easy. Just t just choose blank Windows password and click on run. 
and it will load that. So just ignore um, this. Just go ahead and choose. It should say um, Windows slash Data slash Other NTFS. Kind of just click OK. It will then back up Windows Registry because it will be writing to that. And we're going to need to choose which user to reset. Should be the one with your name. My user, as you could see, was just called user. Then choose the user, and you can see Windows password was reset OK. Now that the Windows password has successfully been reset, we should restart our system. Choose, choose the icon in the lower left or press the Windows key. Well, actually, that doesn't work. Um, I just pressed mine, and it doesn't do anything. Um, but choose the icon in the lower left and click on go over to leave and select reboot. Click on yes and it will begin rebooting the system. And if you get if it's stuck back at this screen, you may be able to go to advanced options. No, that's not that's not. And what you're gonna need to do, I'm gonna have to go ahead and boot back into the system and go back and restart the system and then press the rapidly um, span the F2 key a whole bunch of times again so you should probably just do that um, so it doesn't boot right back from the USB or remove or even better just remove the USB um, so so if we go ahead and just leave here now now after we hit reboot hit yes just hold press F2 as many times as you can it should boot me back into the BIOS there we go Go back to boot and put the hard drive back on the top. F10 and enter to save and exit. And now we are booting into Windows 7 to see whether this actually works. As you can see, we did not be we were not prompted by a password and we do get our desktop just fine. As you can see, our desktop is fully functional and we can do whatever we want in Windows. And apparently there's no internet. There we go. Um, then, if we want to reset our password to something we remember, open the control panel and go to user accounts and family security, user accounts, change your Windows password, and, cr and create a password for your account. And let's set our password to just like the letter A. That, that's what I'm setting my password to. I, don't, I think I can't actually have a hint, no. And then we now have a working reset Windows password done all through a very small Linux distro. And thank you, Linux. Now we can boot into our system with our new password. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, Please like this video, comment on it, subscribe, check out my other YouTube channels at silospace.net, and thank, and thank you for watching.